So today, we're going to read a story about a sea turtle. A turtle and a turtle. Now try and stand right outside the door to the animal hospital. Yep, okay. Imagine it's a cold December day. The aquarium rescue van pulls up and one special case of a cold, stunned turtle gets off. It's Orion, a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle from Mexico who was pretty far gone, trapped in the icy waters of Cape Cod Bay. Now hold up your iPod. We're gonna play Turtle Doctor. Orion comes here and is immediately put on a ventilator. See it there? When he is stable, we take an x-ray and then check out the results on that light box on the wall. See it? Yeah. That's Charlie Ennis there examining the x-ray. Hmm. Hmm. Something going on in his lungs. Take me into that left lung. See that cloudy area in the left lung? Yep, pneumonia. But before we go there, let's try and take a larger view of turtle rescue. And no, just being You see, turtles are a very ancient species having existed for a hundred million years. So climate change isn't exactly something they can't survive. But warmer oceans are changing their habits and habitats, leading them to places they don't normally go. And this increased range of movement can put turtles in some dangerous situations. The lucky ones end up here. Charlie's team applies a number of cutting-edge procedures to help the turtles fully recover. Biopsies, CAT scans, antibiotics, and even treadmill therapy. And after six months, Orion's pneumonia has cleared up. He is released in Cape Cod Bay and begins the long journey home with a little GPS to make sure he's on his track. Thank you guys. Ah, and at the end of the journey, a comfortable home life waits for him, right? Not really. While Orion won't freeze down in Mexico, our changing climate means more frequent hurricanes and rising oceans that eat away at their nesting grounds. And then there's sand temperature, which you can imagine is also on the rise. You see, the sex of a turtle egg is influenced by temperature, and for Orion's offspring, warmer sand means more females. If the temperature gets hot enough, only females will be born which makes reproduction a big problem. This hotter sand is a distant result of greenhouse gases we put into the atmosphere. Some communities are coming up with ways of innovating on the problem of warmer oceans. To get your community involved in such efforts, see the links at neaq.org tours.